Isn't it ironic that the mainstream sports media for the last several years have been encouraging and cheering on athletes for being activists, for speaking out about important causes, whether it's Black Lives Matter, whether it's transgender rights, whatever hot button identity politics topic is currently out there. They have been encouraging that as long as they only speak from one certain perspective. But as soon as someone else with a different opinion that maybe isn't going to bend the knee to Black Lives Matter or trans activists or any of these fucking lunatics out there, as soon as a normal person comes along with a different concept and a different idea they just want them to shut the fuck up and never speak out again that is why ufc is so entertaining because dana white's made it very clear hey you want to go out there and support black lives matter go for it but if you want to go out there support maga if you want to go out there talk about how you feel about lgbtq rights or transgender activism or all that stuff go for it we get both sides here so when sean strickland who's a fucking badass by the way goes up there and gets asked a question about his views about gay people, about his views on transgender people, on all of these things, Sean Strickland launches an epic tirade on this Canadian reporter, and the mainstream sports media is furious about it. You are an infection. Sean Strickland rips mask off media in his most brutal presser yet. And uh, it went viral yesterday on Twitter. I wish I wasn't so busy yesterday. I wish I could have made made a video on this when it was really popping off, but I had to talk about this. He himself tweeted this out. I don't know who this guy is and I don't care, but you're not a man, but you'd take that as a compliment. This is after a Canadian reporter because UFC 297's in Toronto. Canadian reporter said, you know, some of the things you've said in the past about the LGBTQ people, do you still really feel those things? Basically trying to trap him into an answer on this stuff. Here he goes. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think... I'd oh, look, another... another. Yeah. I'm saying yeah. to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone says... Let me ask model. you something. Are you are are you you are you gay? Have you had the chance no, to are, interact with a are, more diverse Are you... Of, let me know. Are, are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking... I'm, this is a part of the... Are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son, then he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay. You'd be like, oh, man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh, man. Well, you, dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, would you fucking, when he sees the bank accounts, like, you're just fucking pathetic. And, and the, fact that, the fact that you have no fucking backbone and, and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts? You ask me some stupid shit like that? Go fuck yourself. Move the fuck on, man. Like that doesn't really coward. answer the question. But I- and now, there's no other sport out there. There is no other sport out there, NBA, NFL, whatever, where you'd hear this type of response from an athlete when asked a question like that from a reporter. But this is the UFC. This is Sean Strickland, who's very outspoken about his personal political beliefs, his personal beliefs on all this shit, and he's not afraid to stand up to the people in the mainstream media, but it would continue on. I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when, uh, when they know what, and we'll know what they stand for. Are you this guy's like, nah, this Canadian's not that Canadian. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. Here's the thing about Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a, what, a mental fucking illness. And now, all of a sudden, people like you have fucking weaseled your way in the world. You are, you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your fucking bullshit you're fucking peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Fucking chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they could fuck in school. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, their sexual preference. Like, dude, this guy is the fucking enemy. Uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there. Just an absolute brutal takedown of this dude who was going out. He was trying to start drama, right? That's what he was doing. This fucking Canadian reporter, this gay activist, was going out there trying to start drama with Sean Strickland. And he got the fucking noise he was asking for. But I don't think he got some of the answers he was hoping to get. Sean Strickland buried this dude, and he's 100% right. Normal fucking people 
Normal people don't align with this woke activist bullshit. That's why people are so tired of seeing the mainstream media push it, both when it comes to regular media and also sports media. People are tired of seeing transgender people take over female sports. People are tired of seeing that activism when they're just trying to watch an NFL game. So when you when you tune into UFC, they made it very clear that, you know what? If somebody out there is left-wing and wants to put out their talking points, that's fine. But if someone's right-wing, we're going to let them do the same thing. And that's why we end up getting... Brutal takedowns like this from Sean Strickland. Uh, we'll see what happens. UFC 297. I'll certainly be rooting for Sean Strickland. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later.